Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to be recreating a look I did on myself yesterday. I just loved how it turned out and I need to share it with you guys. I would describe this look as like a smoldery but soft everyday appropriate kind of look. I do see this look becoming some people's everyday go-to or like their go-to weekend look or even a good night out look. And of course you can swap things out for your tastes, whether that being shades or coverage levels or whatever it may be. So before we get started, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. This look might actually be my stampede look. I have been kind of practicing just because I like to have my look planned out already so when the day comes I'm not just sitting there not knowing what to do with my face in a time crunch that's very stressful for me and also I've been wearing my cowboy boots <laughs> the last like two days throughout my house to break them in <laughs> aren't they cute though I love the combo of the cowboy boots and sweatpants <laughs> So starting off with the base, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body. I'm going to be mixing two shades, C3 and N1, just because I'm kind of in between these two. So I'm starting with a very sheer base, just because I like how that balances out kind of a heavier eye. And I'm applying that with my fingers so I get a fuller coverage effect, because this product is really interesting. It starts to emulsify as you blend it in with your fingers. You can feel it thicken up all of a sudden. It's really cool. And I'm just going to buff the edges out with a brush, just to make sure everything is even and covered. There. Super simple, nice base that just evens out everything. Now for my concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser in the shade 120. This pairs really nicely with the MAC face and body. It just has the same amount of coverage and it brightens up your under eyes a lot. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my little Kosas sponge. And I always bring concealer up in this nook. I need a little bit more in there actually, especially with more sultry looks, because I need to have that brightness in here or else I feel like I look like a cigarette mom, you know? And I'm skipping powder right now just because I am going to be working with some eyeliners and I don't want that to mess things up for us later. So I'm skipping to bronzer and I'm using my Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light Medium. And to apply that, I'm gonna use the Rose Ink 3 brush, which is their foundation brush. It's just like a nice flat one. This is gonna add some definition to our face but it's still very sheer and pairs really well with the MAC product. It has like that translucent look to it. And I'm hitting the face, and I'm hitting the face, and I'm hitting the places of my face where I would naturally bronze. So I'm taking a little bit on my nose where I always get tanned and on my chin as well. Oh, it's so pretty that stuff. I can't believe it. And I'm also going to use this step as well. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector in the shade Light, also from Makeup by Mario. And I'm using this nice BH Cosmetics brush, which is very old. And I'd like to do a, like, a generous swirl, and then I tap it off, and then I get the perfect amount. And this way, you don't have to go in with any highlighter if you don't want to but I'm going to because I've been testing out the rose ink ones and today I'm going to use I have prismatic opalescent and brilliant I think I'm gonna go with opalescent today and I'm using my finger this time it works a lot better with a finger and we're left with this look how pretty this skin finish is right now. We haven't gone in with any powder to lock in the center, but how pretty is the outskirts? Love this. So now for my blush, I think I'm gonna use my Rose Ink Heliotrope, and I think I'm just gonna apply it with that same Rose Ink brush that I went in with the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhance, just so that I don't have more brushes to wash later. <laughs> Yesterday, I went in with Fox Glove, which is gorgeous as always, but I love to switch out my blushes pretty much every day. And I'm gonna use a little bit on my nose as well. I go right there on my nose because that's where it kind of swoops and that's where I always get tanned or burnt. Hopefully more tanned than burnt, but 
you know, it happens sometimes. Now let's move on to my brows, which I'm gonna show, but I'm still gonna have a brow intermission at some point. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Cosmetics Brow Lift. So I'm taking the corresponding little dual-ended tool and I'm dipping my spoolie side right in there. And I like to apply the product like halfway through my brow towards the end. I don't like when there's a huge concentration of the product right in the front, just a little bit. And I like to spike them all the way up first. Don't worry, they're not going to stay like this, but I just get every hair coated. I like this because it lifts my brows a little bit, obviously. Makes the appearance that my eyelids are bigger for some reason. You know, it just directs everything up here. So once they look like this, I just wipe off whatever's left on my spoolie. And then I take the end of the spoolie and then I create my desired brow look. I like the way they look when they're more pushed up on the ends, but I like when a few of the hairs still stick up a little bit for a more fluffy look. It's gonna start off looking like that. I haven't tinted my brows in a while, which could be beneficial at, m at this point. Um, but now I'm going to take my Rare Beauty Brow Harmony in the shade brown or maybe the darkest one, I forget. There is a brush that comes in the back here and a little spoolie. People don't know that, so I always show that. But I am going to be using a thinner brush just because this one can be a little bit thicker for my liking. So I'm taking this Anastasia 7B brush. It has a very, very thin, thin point to it. And we're gonna take a mixture of both colors. And with this, I'm going to cut into here, creating brow strokes and just to fill in the sparser areas. And this is my favorite brow powder because it almost acts like a cream. Well, it has like, it's moisturized. <laughs> it's like a jelly powder, it's really cool. So it never falls onto your lids or anywhere else on your face and it adheres really nicely to the skin underneath of your brows, which is obviously the most important part of a brow powder. I kind of want to do this as my everyday brow look because it's so nice, but it's so much more time consuming and I hate spending so much time on my brows, but it is worth it. I feel like this looks better. Although I have bangs, so it doesn't really matter. They kind of cover them anyways. So now I'm just going to pop off to prime my lids and I will be right back. Hello, baby. Good job. Good job. Wow. Look at you go. <laughs> Can we take another minute to admire this base. Are you kidding? So nice, and it's lightweight. I love it. Okay, so now let's move on to the eyes. So I'm going to start off with some eyeliners. I picked out my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky liner in the shade black, and then I have two of the Melt Waterline pencils in the shade Cacao and Ivory. So I'm going to start off with the black. Now you don't have to use black, I think this is just going to be a good one to see on camera to see what I'm doing. But you can use browns and softer browns and I think this would look so gorgeous every day. So I'm going to start off on the outer corner of my eye, but I'm not going to take it all the way to the outer part. You see how I'm leaving like a couple millimeters there? That's what I want. And now I'm taking this Glisten F1 brush and I'm going to start pulling that on the inside. I don't want to smudge it all the way out and I'm going to do like a little bit of a wing. I don't want it to be like a super defined wing. I want this to lift my eye and mostly thicken up my lash line. I'm also wiping off my brush so I don't have too much pigment because these ones are very blendable and I might have used a bit too much here. And if you do that, you can also take your finger and swipe down towards your lashes and you'll remove some. Now I'm taking the black again, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just gonna define right here under my lash line. And I'm, oops, that's the wrong brush. And I'm also leaving a space right there. And I'm just smudging that. I have to take a little bit off. Just like so. And now, you can do this, this is an optional step. This is where the sultriness comes from. I'm going to put some of this black right here and now I'm going to transition to my brown eyeliner. 
again the melt cacao pencil and I'm going to shove this in my waterline as well all throughout my lower lash line I should have sharpened that because I didn't want any right there that is why we didn't powder our under eyes it's so much easier to fix your mistake when that concealer acts kind of like a barrier it helped me erase my little mistake I know this is looking pretty intense right now but it's gonna get lighter as we go on this is just our first couple steps I'm now going to take like a very thin eyeliner brush this is another glisten brush it's a number four and I'm going to take some of that brown eyeliner and I'm going to take that brown and I'm going to tight line with it this is just going to help thicken up the lash line again this is my least favorite makeup technique I say that every time but it helps me to distract myself from what I'm doing because it tickles so bad oh it's awful and I'm going to take some of that brown on my outer corner again right on top of the black this would look so nice with plums too or very light browns again I'm doing it darker so you can see what I'm doing a lot easier now I'm going to be taking my ivory pencil and and I'm going to highlight right here and I'm bringing it all throughout that outer corner kind of in a V you see like that and it really helps to brighten up this area and it looks kind of youthful it's cool don't forget that little piece of waterline we left look like this looks insane I know that it's not done you're like you said you didn't want to look like a cigarette mom yet you're looking like a cigarette mom right now I know and I'm taking a bit of that in the inner corner as well just in case if you want to use just like a matte highlighter in here it looks nice I might add some shimmer in there a bit later so now I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury the super nudes easy eye palette and I'm going to use this shade right here it looks cool toned but it appears more warm against my skin tone I'm taking that shadow on this melt cosmetics eye blend 818 brush actually I need a flatter brush this is an eye naughty blender from Huda it's kind of like a fluffy yet flattened brush and I'm taking that same color and I'm patting over the entire thing even on top of that eyeliner we did over here this is gonna help kind of diffuse and soften it up and I'm taking another brush this is a ColourPop E28 and I'm taking a mixture of that same color and the lighter one I'm taking this brush just for precision and I'm doing the same thing over here it's gonna help diffuse down here this turned out a lot darker on me today that's okay and now I'm going to apply a little bit more concealer just to help brighten up this area again since I wiped most of it off and I'm making sure to take a little bit of that concealer to kind of camouflage the edges and see how that kind of disappeared I'm going to take a little bit of a lighter eyeshadow this one's gonna be from the makeup by Mario palette and I'm gonna highlight this again now we can take our powder I'm using my elf one and I'm going in with this brush to set my under eye usually I'm careful to dodge what I've done under my eyes with like eyeshadow wise but with this I kind of like how it kind of helps to blend it away and I'm revisiting my rose ink highlighter and I'm going to put some in my inner corner I'm just going to repeat it on this eye and I'll be right back and here are the eyes I love this eye looks so much I feel like it makes my eyes look huge but still very sexy and smoldery if you know what I mean and the mascara I used was the Pat McGrath fetish eyes mascara seriously the best still like look how long and feathery my lashes look so perfect for this look and if you don't want to do the whole bottom smoky part just doing the top portion is so pretty as well hopefully you can kind of visualize that with my finger here does that help I don't know but now before we move on to lips I'm going to set my face using the elf powder I was gonna start going with this but that's way too small I need to get the job done I'm using its big daddy version these are both from Sydney Grace they don't have numbers so I don't know what they are 
And for my lip, I'm first going to line them with MAC Subculture. This pairs really nicely with the blush. My poor lip keeps splitting in the exact same spot. I baby my lips so much recently and they just do this. It sucks. And then I wanted to try one of these from MAC. It's the Luster Glass Lipstick. This is the shade 540 Thanks It's MAC. <laughs> so it looks like this. I feel like it's going to pair nicely with everything going on. Mm. I'm such a silly goose. I should have just used Heliotrope. I'm just going to put some of that on because that's a little bit pale or something. Oh, I don't like that. Nope. I just swatched like 10 lipsticks on, but I think Teddy 2.0 from MAC is going to be it with a little bit of a gloss. I'm taking most of that away. I just want that to look like my lip color. And then I'm going to take some of the Fenty Skin Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil because my nip, my nips, my lips, and my nips, just kidding, just my lips need some conditioning. Whoa. It's so juicy. Oh my god, it smells like something from my childhood. What is that? Like Flint's Flintstones? No. Like Scooby Snacks. Scooby Snacks, the blue one. Oh my god. Yep. Favorite already. Just because of how that smells. Wow, Scooby Snacks, the blue one. You know, that one was always so good. I kept that one last every time I would have them. Oh, now I want some. And this is what we're left with. My camera is going to die any second now. So if there's an abrupt cut, you'll know why. But I love how this turned out. I think the eyes are so enticing. Of course, you can alter them to your taste if you wanna use some other colors or lighter colors. I think this is such a nice technique. I love how open it makes my eyes look by leaving this area blank and highlighted. It's fun. It's a fun shape to experiment with and I'm excited to try it out with different shades and such. But yeah, I'm really excited to get my, my Yeehaw on at Stampede. Let me know if you're going to be there. That'd be fun to meet a couple of you guys there. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy today's video, give it a like. It would help me out so very much. And of course, I'll link everything I used in today's video in the description down below as always. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.